Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thanks for joining me for another of our Shabbat uh, studies. I got my magazine back. Finally started coming in the mail again. So we're going to put this to the side. We're going to put the week's sort of normal worries and concerns that we have to the side just for a day or maybe just for these 10 minutes. I'm going to wear my... Where would it go? I thought I had my baseball keep on. Well, I guess I don't. Okay. Then I'm going to put on just this somewhat generic Jewish star keeper. Oh, I like that keeper. I hope I can find it. Anyway, um, so today is the first day of Sukkot. If you're watching this on Saturday, the day of Shabbat, if you're watching it Friday night, well, it's still the first day of Sukkot because, of course, holidays start the night before the full day. Um, there's a special Torah reading. I looked through it, and it's it didn't really know what to do with it. So instead, I just want to talk about the general lessons of Sukkot. Sukkot, as I'm sure you know, is the holiday where in normal times we would build sukkahs, little huts. Maybe we could build them at our homes or with our communities or with our families. Uh, maybe our shuls or synagogues would build them, and we'd go there and celebrate there. Obviously, it's a very difficult thing to do now with social distancing and the like. So it is likely that unless you're building one yourself, that you're not going to be able to go to one. I know that I'm not going to be able to go to one, which is kind of a bummer. But the lesson of Sukkot, the purpose of Sukkot, I guess, first, is to remember the, the Jews as they were wandering the desert in between leaving Egypt and arriving in the Promised Land, that they were wandering through the desert, and that they had these, uh, what's the word, non-permanent structures that they lived in. They had... These, these tents, these, these sukkahs that they would set up, uh, they'd sleep there, and that maybe they'd stay in a place for a couple of days, but they would eventually pack it up, and they would move on, and then they would set it up again. And so a lot of Sukkot is all about living in the moment and kind of being appreciative of what you have and realizing that you are not where you want to go, you're not in whatever your promised land is yet, but you're Blech. But you've left, you know, Egypt. You've left where things are really bad. Uh, so you're sort of on the way forward. You should appreciate the fact that things are getting better, even if they still aren't great. I'm sure living in the desert, wandering around for 40 years, isn't ideal. But it sure sounds better than being a slave in Egypt. So with the pandemic going on, it's difficult to really kind of apply that lesson because it sort of feels like we're still in Egypt. And with winter coming, it feels like things are probably going to get more difficult. We're going to have less opportunities to go outside. We're going to have less. Um, the temperature is going to drop. There's going to be snow on the ground. Uh, snow storms are, are potentially much more difficult than the rainstorms we've been getting. We luckily haven't been hit with any hurricanes yet. Uh, but we know that we tend to get a lot of snow on the ground. And when it's colder, people tend to get more sick anyway. So with a pandemic, that's extra concerning. So I think that the right response this year to Sukkot is to take the idea of going outside, of, of enjoying being outside, of being under the stars, or at least being under the sky if you don't want to be out at night. Uh, and even though you may not have a sukkah, at least find some time to go outside and to, to look around, to appreciate nature, and to get out in the next couple of weeks while you still can and while there's still things to go to, uh, to see. There's a lot of really beautiful fall foliage that I've been seeing. This weekend I'm actually going camping, so it'll be kind of like a last chance to like get out there and see nature. And it's always nice to go out with friends and go for walks, uh, you know, see people maybe we don't live with and have our masks on. But you should maybe try to go outside and appreciate nature itself. Maybe you really like the, uh, you know, the color of the sky or the bushes around you or the trees and their colors or the animals. I've just been seeing more birds lately. Uh, if there's a park near you, maybe take some time to go there. And even if you go with someone, because it can be more enjoyable to have someone with you, um, focus on the nature because that's gonna go away and that's gonna get, uh, as it gets colder, It'll be a little less pleasant to be outside, and that's something that we're going to have to deal with uh, during the winter. So this is a good opportunity 
to enjoy it while we're able to live in the moment because uh, things actually might get more difficult before they get better, unfortunately. I wish I had better news. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, that is this week's thought. Please take it with you, and I hope that it inspires you to get out and enjoy uh, something that maybe you have not been able to or you've been hesitant to. I know going outside can be a little bit scary, but if you're out there on your own or if you're out there with one other person who you know and who you trust, uh, with your mask on, of course, because the virus isn't really about trust. But if you trust them to wear a mask and you wear a mask and you stay apart, uh, then you go outside and hopefully you'll feel better and you'll be able to appreciate something while it's there. And in the winter, you'll probably miss it, like I will, but at least you will be able to say to yourself, I enjoyed it while it was there. And uh, maybe take some good pictures. I've enjoyed taking pictures during the fall. It's a great time to take some photos. Everyone is a photographer in New England in the fall. It's so easy to get some good pictures on your phone. All right, that's it. So Shabbat Shalom, uh, happy Sukkot, and I will look forward to seeing you all next week when uh, at the end of Sukkot. Yeah, all right, take care, bye.